One corner near downtown Phoenix is getting a unique makeover, and some say this special type of redevelopment is on the upswing. Cronkite News reporter Leah Durfee shows, joins us live to tell us what's happening next. Leah? One corner in downtown Phoenix on 7th Street in Osborne has housed a church and school building for more than 100 years. The churches were vacated in 2012, but are now being repurposed to bring new life to the block. Virginia Senior has seen and heard the construction going on across from Urban Beans and Tortilla Wine Bar for months now. But despite the inconvenience, she is now looking forward to what she thinks the new business will bring to the area. Bringing in good quality construction is definitely going to help our business. It's going to help the community. It's going to help people feel more connected to, to this area. It's called Old School 7. It used to be an old church and school building, but not anymore. It's now going to be home to a Starbucks, a restaurant, and several other businesses. It's called an adaptive reuse project. Instead of tearing down old buildings, business owners are just changing them to fit their needs. There's higher demand within, uh, within these denser population pockets. Uh, for instance, 7th Street and Osborne has a, a large population, employment population. This church had been open since 1948 until it was closed last year. When the building reopens in November, people will gather for a much different reason. We scooted over to the church at 7th and Osborne. I fell in love with it. I realized that this was where the first taco guild was supposed to be. The old Bethel Methodist Church is being turned into a restaurant by Z Tejas Inc. And although Taco Guild will be a new restaurant, they are keeping the stained glass windows, pews, and church doors. Z Tejas' CEO, Stephen Micheletti, says the location and its past drew them in. We kept going back to properties that had a previous history. A history that will live on as part of these reclamation projects. During construction, they found time capsules from previous churches one of which filled with things from the 1800s. The tradition was carried on, and the new businesses will also include time capsules. Live in downtown Phoenix, Leah Durfee, Cronkite News.